Hi, I'm Nancy Martinez and I'm your host here at LBR Talks. In today's episode, we actually have the owner and visionary of Limbush Roses, Patrick Bush, as our guest. And I'm really excited to have Patrick back here with us today to talk about one of the elements of EOS, or the Entrepreneurial Operating System. And that element that he's gonna talk about is vision, and even more specifically, values and he has some great insight and shares about how we developed our own vision, what vision does with your culture and why it's important. So I'm excited for you to experience my conversation with Patrick coming up. Hi, I'm Nancy Martinez and welcome to LBR Talks where we share business and leadership tools to help you enhance and elevate your business. So today I'm gonna to welcome back Patrick Bush. Patrick is our visionary and owner here at Lynn Bush Roses. Good to be back with you all again. Yeah, and we kind of teased a little bit about the intro of EOS, our entrepreneurial operating system, last time we were here together. Mm -hmm. And today I'd like us to look at what are the six key elements of EOS. So I'm going to try and name mm -hmm. them without looking down. Oh, good. Let's see. I, maybe we could test. do this together. This is a test. I'm so gonna, I'll there's it. vision. Yes. Data. Yes. People. Yes. Traction. Yes. Issues. Yes. Process. Oh, and process, yeah. of course. Okay, we got We always forget one, but that, <laughs> they all count. They, and they're all important. Absolutely. Yes. Um, so today we're going to do a little bit of a deep dive on vision. Yeah. Yeah, so that'll be fun. And, and we're only going to take a narrow slice of vision. We're actually going to just limit it to values today. Yeah, fun. So we're going to talk about values and how they relate to or how they are part of culture. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's dig in. So um, I had an experience at an SAF meeting several years back. Uh, keynote speaker Jamie Notter talked about culture. And culture is really the values that are really alive and manifest within your business. And you know, so many businesses, and we included, uh, had listed our values, our company values. Mm -hmm. um, but what I learned from Jamie that really uh, changed my view and really deepened my view of this is, is culture is the values that you really manifest. Okay. So EOS, um, the, the vision component of it is, is, is to name your values. But to have that really work and be meaningful in your business, those values have to be true and alive and, and, and driving everything. So when I think about the journey we've gone on from originally, you know, naming our company values to where we are today, there's been a lot of change in that, but not on all of them. We have five key values, uh, quality, customers first, or actually customer focused, safety first, servant leadership, and uh, continuous improvement. And so for an example, it's, an, it, it, it's our values uh, that we have today have evolved. Um, they, they do change and you don't want them to change a lot, but they need to, they need to be meaningful and deeply important to, to you as an organization. So, so for example, quality, um, my dad, when he started the company, Mm -hmm. was absolutely fixated on growing the best pro possible product and that really was a foundation that built our business. And today we're uniquely uh, still a grower of cut flowers and it's only because of our commitment to quality because if, if, if we didn't have the high quality that we're able to produce um, we would be competing head-on with South America and we can't compete on price alone so that quality is an example of a value that we've had it has never changed. It has never changed. Yeah. So what do yeah. you think of that? Yeah, and that's great. And what I think I heard you say too is it, it has to be meaningful. So it can't be like, oh, I like that value they have over there. Let's have it. It really needs to come within who you are and what you want your organization to stand for. Right. So tying it into EOS, um, we talk about how do you integrate your values into everything. So for example, all of your people, I mean, people have many different values. We don't all have the same values, 
but we generally have values that there's commonality to. So when, we, um, when, when you think of your business practices, you're hiring, you're reviewing, any development that you're doing within your company, the, this, the values need to be integrated into it. So if you think about what, what that means is you develop a culture of people who share common things as important. And that takes, um, it, it actually just makes things flow better and smooth better, people work together better. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean they're all the same. There's still a lot of difference between people but they don't disagree about those fundamental values. Yeah, and I think one thing that we've really done well here is call out those behaviors that show the values in our employees. So, and, and recognizing that mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and sharing that with the, the rest of the, the company. So we have like a MVP mm -hmm. program and one of the things is, is Who's the MVP? Why and what value did that mm -hmm. showcase? So that now has become more and more part of our culture because of that. I think. Yeah, and it's 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 actually a lot of work to integrate yeah. your values in your company because you do you need to make it meaningful, and and integrate it into what you do. So like the MVP that Nancy's talking about, the MVP people are chosen with people making recommendations with reference to how they live the values mm -hmm. as a key part of that. Yeah, and and so you we've named a few, and you said they can change over time, and and that must be because we review them periodically. Yeah, so we don't actually do a formal review. You you certainly could. There would be that would be a great uh, approach. Um, you know, and here's a, the last values change we had is uh, to um, well, it was a very minor change. We had safety as a value, mm -hmm. and we changed it to safety first. Now, that doesn't sound like a big change, but it got us from talking about safety to action and acting on safety. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we learned is that safety is a fundamental value that most people have, and, and people that work for you, when you put their safety first, they feel val more valued as a person and they feel better about the conditions and the working, mm -hmm. and it, it, it enhances your overall uh, attraction for, for new people and retention of existing people. And so we, you know, to make safety first, that wasn't just changing the words. We had to go through and, and, and build recognition programs in, evaluate how we did a lot of things, we put safety committees together, so it's not just by naming the value, it's, mm -hmm. it's really, the, the naming is the, the, the 5%, the 95% is all the work you do to integrate it into your business. And it shouldn't be a hard process because the things that you're actually focusing on are near and dear to your own personal heart. Right. So it's really uh, bringing out who you are in a more clear and meaningful way. And that's where the power comes in and that's when it changes your culture and when your culture changes, um, momentum happens within the business. So it, it's it's not just for fun to do this. I mean, it's there's good solid business reasons to do it. Yeah, and I I remember when we changed that from safety to safety first, and it was a pivotal change in mm -hmm. in how we did things. And and I think whenever we talked about issues or anything in meetings, it was well, okay. Safety is the number one thing. If there's any safety concerns, mm -hmm. that's at the top of the agenda. So it really started from the top down and Absolutely. we just made sure it got funneled throughout the whole organization. Yeah, so. if, it's, if it's not supported from the top, it won't happen. That's just yeah. simple fact, yeah. So that's great. So to have a healthy or a culture that you want to have within your business, it really does start by naming those values that, like you said, are near and dear to your heart so that are meaningful to you, so that you actually want to integrate it in your in your in your business and in your within your employees. Right, it brings life to it for you, and it and it um, it, it it brings meaning and and passion, um, and it, because it takes that a lot of energy to to bring them into reality. So yeah, yeah. And what a fun exercise, really. I mean, it gets you to really think about it and really put down in words what you want your business to represent. Well, it's funny you mentioned that because um, I took this a step further in our business as I'm starting to work with succession planning with my family, my kids. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, we have named uh, a set of values for our, fa our future family business owners. I call them the FFBO. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're really going to become owners, but you know, um, I get along fine with my kids. We enjoy and we have a lot of fun, but, but doing business topics isn't always top of mind, but it blew my mind that we spent, I think we spent six or eight hours in two meetings fleshing out our values and I learned so much about my kids mm. and they're, they're sharp and articulate and they could defend why something should or shouldn't be in the values and, and we've got more work to do to, to take that forward but um, if, if, if you're, you know, think of working with your top people mm. to do this, it can be a really actually a fun process. Um, and. Uh, yeah, it sounds I, like it could really unite a team. Uh, absolutely, because when people feel that they're heard, of course, uh, makes a difference, and when right. they see it backed up by action, it makes even more of a difference. You bet. Wow. Well, that's great. I think if you've been tuning in, you've heard some really good nuggets. Um, just taking that time to write down what's important to you, putting them in a value uh, format, number them. And I'm assuming we don't want too many, right? Yeah, that's a good point, Nancy. Um, three, five, seven at the most. Um, the more you have, the the less focus you're able to place on them. Okay. We have five. I, we I like that number. Okay. Yeah. So maybe five or less, so that really it's it truly is what's important. If you have too many, then all of a sudden they're. It, and it doesn't mean that other things are, are not important. It just means that this is where you're really going to put your focus in developing yeah. your culture. That's, yeah. that's really the point of it. And that's what goes back to the, the message from Jamie Notter because he, he, he so eloquently described the power of culture. And, and okay. uh, I, I, I wish I could repeat what he had to say. We're going we're we're gonna to put a link. We're going to put a link. You can yeah. look him up. Okay, we'll put a link down below so you can uh, learn more if you want to do a deeper dive and learn what Jamie has taught Patrick. Um, I hope that you have something that you can glean onto here and embrace. Um, take some time and develop your own values uh, within your organization and, and grow and make your culture the way you want to see it. So again, thanks, Patrick, for coming. Thank you for joining us. Thank you all very we'll much. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Well, that was great. And it was really fun for me to have you experience a piece of our LBR culture by learning some of our values. And if it helps, I'm gonna put a download below on our five values that Patrick spoke about and the definitions of them, because that's an also a very important part is defining what exactly they are and what they mean to you. So you'll see our examples below. Um, loved how Patrick combined values with the culture and what that means. And I hope that you take some of these nuggets and actually implement it within your own business. I'm gonna leave you with my quote for the week. And it is on values. And it is from Howard Schultz. He says, if people believe they share values within a company, they will stay loyal to the brand. So the brand for you, your business, your company, it's really important. So go ahead and post, print, share, do whatever you want. This will also be downloadable down below. So thank you again for joining us and sharing our LBR talks. And until next time, we'll see you later.